Hello, everybody. Good morning. How are you today? We're going to wait a couple of minutes. I know we were a little bit late jumping on. But we'll wait a couple of minutes for everybody to join us. I have Vivi here as part of my helper today. Nobody's watching. Yeah. Ow. Sorry. Nobody's watching. All right. We're going to wait a few minutes and then we're going to get started. I hope all of you um, got to go on the adventure with Miss Tiff earlier. So Miss Tiff this morning took us on an adventure to Africa and she taught us about a lot of different animals that there are in Africa um, and showed us some really cool masks and jewelry that she made from recycled materials. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Miss Tiff. I hope you all got to see that. If you didn't, check out our YouTube channel, even if you missed any other videos. Everything is uploaded to our YouTube channel after it's streamed on Facebook Live, so please check that out. Um, so all week we've been going on adventures. I hope you've enjoyed them all. Today, we are going to take you on an adventure to some place that we love to go to. Good morning, Miss Megan. Good morning. So, let me see, I'm gonna try to scroll and make sure I can see everybody. Um, so we're gonna go on an adventure to Nicaragua, but specifically islands in Nicaragua, which are called Isla de Ometepe, uh, okay. right? So it's um, one of Vivi's most favorite places to go. It's you can talk a little bit later, okay? okay. What, what do you want to say? I forgot what I oh, wanted I'm sorry. To okay. Say. So, um, we love going there. Um, it's always a magical adventure that we get to go on. And we're going to talk a little bit about everything you can do while you're there. So, today, to get there, we have to use our imaginations. And it's going to be a little trip using our imagination and some words and some pictures so you can get a good idea. So I made an itinerary because mm -hmm. that, there are so many things that I wanna talk about, I wanna make sure I stay on track. So I made a little itinerary. Um, so when you go on a trip, sometimes you create an itinerary to help you organize where you wanna go and what you wanna do. So um, to start, I'm gonna show you a picture on a map. I know you've done the globes. I'll show you a picture of where we're going to go. So here's the whole entire world. I know you've all gotten to see some globes this week. And here we are. Oops. Over here in New Jersey. And you'd have to take an airplane all the way. We're in North America to Central America. It's all the way down here. It's real small. And it's called Nicaragua. And then from there, you would take a truck and drive to the port to get on a ferry. So let me show you kind of what we're looking at. You drive, and then here's where we're going to go. It's an island in the middle of a big lake called Lake Nicaragua. It's one of the biggest um, stop any, freshwater lakes, largest. Okay. So, so you get there by flying and then you take the ferry. So here's one other view. If you can see, the island is made of two volcanoes. Here's one, and there's another one back there. And you go to the island and you can stay and you explore all around the island. So this picture is not mine. A lot of these pictures are mine, but some of them I wanted to give you a better view. So this I did not take. But you can see how it's surrounded by water and you can only get there by boat or some islands by plane. But this one we take a ferry to get to. Okay. So to get on the ferry, you have to buy a ticket. So here's an, an example of a ticket that you would buy. Hi, Miss Tracy. Hi, Tori and Tegan. So here's a ticket you would buy to get on the ferry. 
And here is what one of the fairies looked like. So you can see this one's a really big fairy. And all the people sit here, here, or on top. And here's where you put the trucks. Sometimes there's big banana trucks or trucks that have to deliver stuff to the island or take stuff away from the island. And it takes about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the wind, because you have to go across a huge lake. And the weather in Nicaragua is always hot. It could get a little windy sometimes, so you might feel chilly, but it's hot. So you got to think about what you would pack in your suitcase to wear there. Do you want to help? I know she wants to help. I want to look at that ticket. Okay, here. Okay, so um, I'm going to try to stay on track for everyone here. So the, the two volcanoes that I showed you, they're called Medeiros and Concepcion. So one is dormant. I don't know if you know a lot about volcanoes, but what does a volcano do sometimes? What do they do? Yeah, sometimes they erupt and lava comes out. But when they're dormant, it's kind of like they're sleeping. So they don't erupt. So one is dormant. I can't remember which one. I can show you a picture of them both again next to each other. And one is, is not dormant, is active but it doesn't erupt all the time. And you can see the tippy top in the crater there. Yes. So they're really big. Okay. And one more view. If you're on the ferry on your way over to the island, this is might be what you see as you're getting over there to start your adventures. And Ometepe is a real magical, I know I said that magical place, and it's surrounded with myths and legends from a long time ago that people, they've told stories, and they continue to tell the stories about the island. All right, and, be, and I want to show you, so you can make a good connection, that there's kids there just like you. So there's kids in Ometepe and Nicaragua and all over the world just like you that like to play and go to school and have fun with their friends and their families. So there's kids there just like you. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Amada. Hi, Miss Alexa. I'm trying not to miss anyone's. All right, so now we took a plane we took the truck and we put it on the ferry and we took the ferry all the way across Lake Nicaragua, which is a big, big, big lake. And now we're in Ometepe. So Ometepe is a, is a, the whole island is a natural reserve. So it's protected because there's so many special species, which are um, a type of plant or an animal that live there um, that they want to protect them and protect the land so they can continue to flourish and, and grow. Um, so some of the wildlife, if you go on an adventure, so we're gonna go like say on like a hike around the island. So you need some sneakers and comfy shoes. It's hot, so you might bring some water, lots of water. Hi, Chris, how are you? So when you go on an adventure, there's lots of forests and trees and it's really pretty. And there's not a lot of people. So you get to walk through the forest and explore to see things. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Olivia. So some of that wildlife that you might see are monkeys, which I have a picture that we took. Here's a picture of a baby monkey we saw. Was it right? Oop. It's this way. Here's a picture of a baby monkey that we saw. And you can see its tail looped around the tree trunk. And he's hanging down. And most of the time they're not alone. They're with their whole family. Well, multiple families. Hi, Grandma Kim. What? <laughs> so here's some a baby monkey that you might see when you're going on your adventure. And here's a bigger monkey. This one kind of came out dark, but I don't know if you can see this monkey. So Vivi, do you want to tell them what kind of monkeys these are? Howler monkeys? 
Yeah, they're howler monkeys. So howler monkeys don't make the sound you would think. They don't go ooh, 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 ooh. They don't make that sound. They're really loud and deep, right? Have you heard them before? Yeah, what sometimes do? they hurt my ears. They're loud, like ooh, 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 ooh. Almost kind of like you would think a gorilla sounds because they're, they're really loud and they have deep, deep voices. And I have one more picture. They're kind of hard to see, I'm kind sorry. Kind of like a family in that picture. Yeah, there's a bunch of monkeys that you can see in the tray. But you'll see monkeys there, and they have white-faced capuchin monkeys, and there's sloths that live there, and deer. Um, lots of different reptiles, even armadillos. So the island is really, it has a variety of animals that live there, along with a variety of butterflies and plants that are really pretty, and I'm gonna show you some. So they have a ton of different types of birds. So some of the birds are parakeets, and they're called jacoyas, and they fly together in one big group, and they make the most amazing sound. Um, and haracas, which are kind of like a big blue jay, they're real big, and they're blue and white, and they make a real loud sound, and they come really close to people. They don't, they're kind of almost like seagulls, they remind me of. <laughs> um, so also, as you're walking down the trail on your adventure, you're gonna see um, spiders and insects and all different types Ooh. of things that you might not want to see. There's snakes. So this is a spider that we saw. And I think so a stroller ran into no. or <laughs> So here is a spider we came across when we were walking down the trail. Does anybody know what kind of spider that is? Oh, it's a big one. It was really big and it's really hairy. I don't know if you can see the hair on its back and all of its legs. So it should have eight legs, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's missing a leg. I think it was next to him. I think this one wasn't uh, doing so hot. Yeah, Miss Tracy loves this spider. It's her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> the itsy bitsy um, so you can see all the hair I had to take a good picture of it and then we let it be but yeah that's something you might come across when you're going on your adventure it probably died because it lost the leg well it wouldn't necessarily die because of the leg <laughs> alright and another spider we saw yeah tarantula good job Miss Megan that, that thing was huge <laughs> Here's one, I don't know if you can see the web. This is hard to see. So it was a huge web between all these bushes. And then you can see this big yellow and reddish spider Ooh, sitting in the web. I'll send this one to Miss Tracy. And he was just minding his own business. So they don't want to hurt you. They're scared of you. And these won't you won't find around here. No, well, Miss Megan said she couldn't do it either, but it's part of um, the, the, the food chain and part of the environment and it, it's what makes everything work. So every part of it is good. We need it all. Okay, let's not get off track here. That's why I kept my agenda um, or our itinerary, as we would say, because we're traveling, right? So... Um, other things that you can see in Ometepe are tons of butterflies. So in Spanish, oh, I forgot to tell you. So in Nicaragua and in Ometepe, because that's part of Nicaragua, they speak Spanish. So I'm sure a lot of you either know some Spanish, you've heard some Spanish, you learned Spanish in school, or you speak Spanish. So there they speak Spanish. Um, and to say hello, I like a lot of you know, is hola. Um, and... Um, so in Spanish, uh, butterfly is mariposa. There's Vivi, my helper. Okay, I can move over. So they have, besides just all the butterflies that are flying all over the island and their country, there's um, a butterfly sanctuary. It's a butterfly garden that's at one of the reserves there. And they um, hatch a lot of butterflies and they have a really nice oasis for them with tons of flowers and a lot of different butterflies that you can see. There's some I've never seen before except for there so or in magazines. So I'm gonna show you this picture. It's not really good, but I have a better one. So this is the chrysalis that I took. So you can see all of them hanging. So if you ever went to GSA, we 
have hatched butterflies before and we watch them grow from what? Do you remember what they start as? Yeah, when we grow them, they start as a caterpillar. And then what does the caterpillar have to do to get bigger? Amada said hi, Vivi. Uh. <laughs> so the caterpillar has to eat and eat and eat and eat and get nice and big so he can get form his chrysalis. So if you see here, I have a better picture. You can see the caterpillar and he's eating a leaf because they like to eat leaves. And then he forms his chrysalis or the cocoon and you can see him. This one's almost formed because you can see his wings in there. And they stay in there for a little while because they have to grow just like a baby grows. And then they become a beautiful butterfly. So you can see, this is a monarch. I can't see, but hopefully you can see. But that's the type of butter, one of the type of butterflies that we can see there. And we see here, hi, Sophia. Hope you're having a good day. So here's a picture I took, if you can see the butterfly on the flowers. And do you know why they go onto the flowers? Yeah, they drink the nectar. The nectar's sweet. They love the flowers. They're pollinators. So they're important to our environment. They help everything grow. And here's another picture. So this butterfly, how's this one different than the other one? They both have wings. They both have the proboscis, which is their long tongue. It's really long, and that's what drinks up the nectar. But this one is brown and kind of tan, where the other one was orange and black. Hi, Miss Tiff. Hi, Amal. Hi, Celeste. So you can see the, and you can see the pretty flowers that they're on too. And here's, well, I have a couple favorite butterflies, but here's another one we see there all the time. Whoa. And this one is called a blue morpho butterfly. They're so pretty. They're very pretty and they're really blue and black and it's hard to get good pictures but you can see their body and they have antenna yep okay and the ecosystem in nicaragua which means or ometepe um what the environment is made of it's um so it's, um, well there, it's kind of, well there, there's rainforest, but there's also cloud forest. And there, there's a dry forest, a uh, tropical dry forest. And then because it's on the lake, it's considered wetlands. So that's kind of something similar to here, where we have the wetlands because we're on the rivers. Um, and they have the Spanish cedar water from the trees that are there that make the water kind of that reddish color in the lake, because this is on the lake, remember that. Um, so another butterfly, the last butterfly, I won't bore you anymore. So this is actually one of Vivi's favorites and my favorites because okay. it's hot pink and black. So you can see its body is pink and black. You see its antenna and its long legs. And then you can see how cool its wings look. And I don't know the name of this. But this is one of our, oh, no. Oh, no. I lost you, hold on. Hold on, sorry, <laughs> I touched the screen. I was trying to see if anyone else was there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on our journey. We're gonna talk about some of the plants that you might see on your journey. Um, so in Ometepe, they're one of the biggest exporters of bananas. And I did print out a banana plant that I had taken a picture of, but I, I don't know where it went. So. A lot of bananas grow there and they export them, which means send them to other places to eat. So sometimes when you eat bananas, maybe you eat bananas from there. Um, so bananas are really big. They, they um, harvest a lot of coffee. So for all those adults out there that like coffee, they have really good coffee. Um, they have tons of plants. They have tons of flowers. This is a plant. I don't know if anyone knows what kind of plant that grows out of a tree. What's it called? It's called an air plant. It doesn't need the soil. like we're used to plants growing. It's called a bromeliad. 
So there's all types of different plants that grow in Ometepe. And this is one of them. It grows right out of the tree. And it's called a bromeliad. Um, here's another plant that's really cool. It almost looks like a butterfly. And it's pink. And one more that I want to share. Look at this flower. I took this picture. And I thought it was one of the coolest flowers that I ever saw. You can see how it's purple around the middle and the green sprouts out, but the petals are so unique and different. They're like little strings. And I thought it was so beautiful. And I, I don't know what this is called either, but this is something that you can see there. And remember to drink a lot of water because it's always hot there. Okay. So next on our itinerary, something else you can see when you're um, exploring around the island. So remember, the island is two volcanoes. For those of you who came late, I will show you a picture of where we're at. So we are on the island called Ometepe, and it's an island of two volcanoes. And you can travel all around and explore. It's beautiful. You have to take a ferry to get there. Okay. So next, when you're exploring the island, you can see what's called petroglyphs. So here, petroglyphs are ancient rock carvings. So these, they, they say these rocks are rocks that exploded and came out of the volcano many years ago, and they're all over the island. I forget, there's a ton of them. Um, but this is just an example of one. And you can see someone carved a picture, and this is from a very long time ago, into the rock. And you know, if you talk to a, a tour guide or, or read some of the signs, they have ideas of what each petroglyph might mean. So um, it's a way to tell stories and pass stories along. It's a way to tell um, what was happening at the time. If they saw something, Maybe if they knew where fresh water was, um, like a little map saying, okay, we know there's water this way, so you can go this way. But they're all over the island and it's really amazing. So I know we can't do any carvings like this, but you could draw a petroglyph. You could maybe carve something into Play-Doh or clay or use markers. Okay, so petroglyphs are all over the island and they tell stories, ancient stories from a long time ago before there was anything to write with like pencils or crayons or paper. Um, so it, it helps tell the stories and keep their culture, al culture alive. All right, so another thing you can do while you're there is hike. So we've been hiking this whole way. Um, and one thing that is really fun to do, you have to have a lot of, um, food in you so you have a lot of energy and you have to be strong and drink a lot of water and it's a hike so you can hike up the one volcano and at the top of the volcano well not the tippy top not the crater but up on the side is a beautiful waterfall so it was about a two hour hike up and a two hour hike down um Vivi did make it I had Vincenzo on my back which was sorry well I did it no he he half slept half the time so um but it's a lot of fun. We saw a lot of different animals and bugs along the way. And it wasn't the easiest hike because you had to go up the side of the volcano, which I don't know where that picture is now, but we went up the side of the one. Oh, I'll find it. Maybe Vivi can help me find the picture of the volcanoes. Um, so anyway, here you can see the bottom where we started and you go all the way up. I think it was, it's not as far as you would think. It's just a hard trek. I think it's two kilometers or a little over a mile. And then you, you walk. So some of the trails like this, but it's always up. And then some of the trail, we had a hop over a little stream. So a stream is kind of like a river, like Miss Ch um, Tiff showed you her river this morning. These are streams, they're a little bit smaller. The water's running off from the top of the mountain. And we had to climb over rocks. 
So you have to get your legs strong. You have to be strong. And climb all the way up. And then you can see how some of the time we were on the side of the mountain, like a cliff type area walking through the trails. But we took our time. So it, take, it took about two hours to get all the way to the top. It was really hot, especially with Vincenzo on my back. But when you get up there, there was a beautiful waterfall called San Ramon. And you can see it coming down. And there's a little kind of pool that it sat in. I mean, that it fell into. Um, it was cold. As hot as I was, the water was still cold. So you can see at the top where the mountain opens up, or the volcano, and then this is the waterfall coming down. So that's another adventure to go on. And you can go under the water. It's fresh water. They say you can drink it. We did not. Uh, here's a picture I'll just show you. Vincenzo on my back. It was really hot. Okay, so I see one of our most favorite places for last that is that's there. So do you want to talk about that? Like a big room? What? Oh, de agua? Oh, yeah. They can't see you though. Hi, so Miss D. Hi, Jillian. So the, the place I saved for last is one of our favorite places to visit. So it's called Ojo de Agua. Oh, I and love this place. And um, a really long time ago, Ponce de Leon um, stumbled upon it in his adventures. And he named, well, he thought it was one of the fountains of youth. So we like to visit there when we go there so I can swim in it a little bit and be youthful. Um, but it's, it's actually a really, um, peaceful and magical place to be. It's fresh spring water that comes up. Um, it's super clean and it is very cold though, the water. So here's a picture I took of part of it. It's really big. So you can see it's, it's in, it's like embedded into a forest and it has rocks that you can walk around and sit on and you can see it's like a big, big pool but it's a fresh water pool and it's called Ojo de Agua. So those of you who are learning Spanish or know Spanish, Ojo is I and Agua is water. So it's like waters of the eyes. <laughs> and here, here I'll show you one more picture. It's a long one of the whole thing. It's really hard to see. This isn't the best one. Oh, because you took the whole thing. The whole yeah, thing. but you can see it's all surrounded in the middle of the forest. Wait, and don't forget to tell them, if you go back in one of the corners, you might see a fairy back there. So. Oh, so that's what we were gonna get to next. Vivi said sometimes when you go back into the corners, if you're really quiet, you can see the fairies because Ometepe is so magical. There's fairies that fly all around and do all the work in the woods and help the animals. I saw one. Right, so you have to be really quiet, and we do. We look for fairies. So here I wanted to show you a picture well, on an adventure looking for fairies. And you can see their homes. Mm-hmm. Who is that? So oh. um, I want to show you another picture. So after we left there the one day, I took a picture of the volcano. We stopped because the way the sun was. So I thought this was a really cool picture. Yeah. It looks like the volcano is erupting, but it's, but it's not. So you can see that's kind of like a lot of farmland with the volcano, so you can get an idea. But if you see here, what I captured in my picture, by mistake, looks like a fairy. Yeah. So we captured a picture of a fairy for the first time last year. I said we had to show you this. Yeah, Vivi really wanted to show you this. So. Ometepe is super magical. There's lots of myths and legends. Um, it's a lot of fun, especially if you like to explore and learn new things. Um, there's so many different animals to see. Um, I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, um, it's a place that we love to go. It's one of Vivi's favorite spots. And, um, you know, I hope you really enjoyed our little adventure to Ometepe. 
All right. Do you have anything to say? Um, no. No? Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. Tomorrow we have another, another two adventures, so don't forget, tomorrow at 10 and 11 with Miss Alexa and Miss Tracy. Oh, yeah, Sophia, I can show you the fairy again. Look. I know. We were so excited when we looked at the picture and saw the fairy. You can see her flying. And that's what they do. They help the earth. Yeah. So awesome. So um, if you missed any of this um, live stream or any of the other ones from this week or all the weeks that we've been doing them, please go to our, U um, yeah, our YouTube page, Garden State Academy, and you can see all of the videos that the teachers um, have been doing over the weeks. Um, go back and watch them, see the activities that they did. If you want to do them again with your children or if you didn't get a chance to do them, you can do them again. Um, and then if you missed the beginning of this, you can do that. And then Miss Tracy and Miss Alexa will take us on adventures tomorrow, okay? I hope you all had a great time. We did, and um, we miss you. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.